Check it. 15. Even. Two pounds, five ounces. Right. And you're done for period one. Oh, we might have found us a little hole for period two. Here we are at the end of a long championship day here at the Heritage Cup in Syracuse, New York. As you can probably tell, the sun's going down. But uh, first thing in the morning until the end of competition, this guy to my left was the most successful. We have a Heritage Cup champion, Jacob Poroznik. Thank you, bud. Good job, buddy. Appreciate Good job. It, yeah. Good job. That was uh, a heck of an experience, I can tell you that. So this was your, uh, this was your introduction to the cup format. No practice. Don't know where you're going until you get there in the morning. Sudden death round, all, all kinds of new stuff. How'd you like it? I, I liked it a lot. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of that no practice. Yeah. No information, kind of show up and, uh, and go fishing. It just kind of suits my style, the way I like to fish and, and, and approach a lake or river or stream or, you know, wherever we go. So uh, I, I really enjoyed it. You know, it really, really suits my style of fishing. Let's walk backwards through your week. Today, championship day, you ended up on the Cayuga Lake, one of the Finger Lakes, and you've done all right there. You like it there okay? I, I would imagine you were probably pretty happy when you showed up there this morning, were you not? Yeah, I fished. Uh, I have fished two tournaments there before in the past, and uh, I think I finished fifth and fifth and I want to say fifth and fifth is where I Sounds finished Sounds about there. right, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it kind of suits my style of fishing, and um, just, you know, uh, it wasn't like I knew exactly a spot to go to. Mm -hmm. I still had to kind of get out there and kind of find them around, but yeah. kind of had some techniques and stuff that I thought would really work, and, and they ended up, you know, working out really good. How did you end up uh, catching most of your fish today? I, I caught them uh, this morning skipping a v and jig, mm -hmm. uh, Cliff Pace uh, series jig on some um, on some docks, and then mm -hmm. went out in some grass about 10 or 12 foot and throw it a drop shot. Uh, just a little hand poured worm and a VNM flat tip worm, which will be on the market here very soon. They actually uh, just got stocked in Tackle Warehouse. So I uh, actually had went through right many uh, here in the last couple of days and only had three or four left. So it's kind of what I started with and then ended up with a, ended up with a hand pour. So I don't really think it really matters, but yeah. um, those, they just really were good. So let's go ahead and back out through the rest of your week. So the sudden death round was on a lake that I don't I don't think many of the guys had ever been on before, Skinny Atlas. I mean, I think it's one that people just tend to drive right on past. We're in this, we're in this neck of the woods. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I've never, uh, I've never even heard of it before. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but it was, it was a good little lake and, and it was fun, you know, that it, it was just basically all smallmouth, you know, mm -hmm. um, the whole mm -hmm. time. So, uh, which really suits my style kind of fishing. But, you know, there I had to make a, I, I thought I was going to be able to catch them out deep and I had to make an adjustment and I did it about, 15 minutes into the round and went shallow and ended up catching them shallow. So it turned out to be really good. So stepping back to your very first day of competition, we're here in Syracuse and you would assume that we're going to go fish Lake Oneida. Like you'd almost just have to assume that, right? Yes, I would have thought that. So didn't fish Lake Oneida, ended up on Lake Ontario of all places. So, I mean, you're, Which, first of all, you're a smallmouth guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, you love fishing smallmouth. So I would imagine the, you probably were pretty happy about that anyways. Oh, absolutely. When we pulled up to Henderson Bay, I was like, huh? <laughs> Hello, Mabel. As a good buddy of mine said, "Hello, Mabel." I mean, it, it was uh, it was going to be good, you know. I'm, yeah. I'm not saying I spent a lot of time in there, but I know what lives in Lake Ontario, and, yeah, and yeah. Henderson Bay is really good bay. And uh, you know, had a, we had a lot of water to fish there. I mean, it was you know, Lake Ontario gets rough, but mm. we, we we got to pick a couple of good days and um, ended up catching them pretty good. So as you look back at your first season on the Bass Pro Tour, this this pretty much closes the circle on what for you was. A great handful of tournaments. You won in Raleigh. You were the you were the number one guy coming into out, out of those two two tournaments that took to qualify for this cup. You were the you were the number one guy. So this this pretty much closes the circle on what for you was a darn good season. Yes, sir. It yeah. was. And uh, finishing first here, I qualified for the World Championship, which is coming up in 2020. So, I mean, what a heck of a week. I mean, I can't complain. How exciting is that, right? The chance to qualify to to be a world champion. That's a that's a cool title. Yep. I mean, you, that's just something that. Like I said, they cannot take away from you. <laughs> we always joke about this. We say, oh man, it was it was a place that was good for this guy's style or it was a good location. Dude, it doesn't matter where you go. You end up, it, fit, it, fit, it fits your style everywhere. You catch I, them almost everywhere. I just love bass fishing, you yeah, know? I yeah. mean, I, I hate practice, you know? I, I, I love competition. Yeah. And, and I think that goes back to if we were throwing darts or shooting pool or bowling or whatever you know the competition that's yeah. what drives us and 
and and getting out there and being able to do something that I really love to do and have competition with it, it's just it's just a win-win. 28 fish, 57 pounds, two ounces. You win by over six pounds. You are the Heritage Cup champion. You got a you got a, a brand new thing to to match your stage three championship on your mantle. Yep, I'm a, I'm gonna have to maybe build a bigger mantle. That thing is heavy too. Darren, I don't know what they, I mean, if they made them out of gold, it would be yeah, all the better. I get it. Congratulations, dude. It was good to see you. Thank you, bud. I appreciate good it. Job. Thank you so much. Good job.